In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to create this text fade transition. All right, to get started, I just added a video clip to my timeline, as well as some text that I'd like to add a fade transition to. So first off, make sure your text clip is selected on the timeline and go over to Effect Controls. Under the video section, you should see the opacity setting. So go ahead and select the Opacity's freeform pen tool, which is what we'll be working with. Okay, now in the video preview, click near the top left corner, it doesn't have to be exact, to create your first point for a large rectangle. Then keep going from left to right to create three more points for your large rectangle. And you'll need to click that first point at the end to close the rectangle. Okay, next let's create our animation. First, position the playhead to where you want to start fading in your text and click the stopwatch next to Mask Path to create a starting keyframe. If your mask goes away, you might need to click Mask 1 so you can see it again. Now drag your mask to the side you want your text to fade in from, and make sure it's all the way out of your frame. Then move the playhead to where you want your text to be completely revealed by, and reposition your mask back over your text so that it becomes revealed. Doing this will automatically create a second keyframe and complete the animation. Okay, now if we play this back, we have our animation, but it looks more like a wipe than a fade. To turn it into a fade, first make sure your text clip is still selected. Then in effect controls, increase the mask's feather. I'll set mine to 700, but you might need to play around with this a bit based on the size of your mask and text. Now this time when I play it back, it looks like a proper fade. It's a bit slow though, so to speed it up, we could just drag our second keyframe closer to the first one. Alright, that's all I have left to show, so as always, thanks for watching, and see you next time.